Hello and good morning. Let's take a look at today's bell work. We're going to do conversion again today. So this one right here, you're going from inches to miles. That's a pretty, pretty big step there. So what I would do first is change that to feet. So I would say 15 inches equals how many feet? And there's 12 inches in one foot. Okay, I want you to write it like this today. Now, maybe you were taught a different way but I want you to write it like this so I know you're doing what I'm asking you to do. So this becomes 15 is equal to 12x. And then you divide by 12 and you get 1.25 feet. Next thing I would do is say 1.25 feet equals how many miles? And I know that there's 5280, say that to yourself, 5280 feet and one mile. And then cross multiply and whatever you get is your answer. So on this one right here, and I'm going to make it a little smaller because it's too big. So on this one right here, I get 1 times 1.25 equals 5280 times x. And then I divide by 5280, and whatever you get is your answer. So 1.25 divided by 5280 equals 0.3023. So it's very, very small. And there it is. Okay. On this one right here, 61 pounds equals how many tons? We know that there's 2,000 pounds in one ton. So you cross multiply. So this is going to be 61 is equal to 2,000x. Divide by 2,000 and you get your answer. So 61, and I have calculators up here, divided by 2,000 equals. Point zero three oh five tons. Okay, today if you're at home, we have a worksheet, and today's worksheet looks like this. So if you can't be with us, you can always copy it down. Okay, and if I don't have enough worksheets in the folder, guess what? You can copy it down. So go back to the video and copy it down. Okay? There it is. So get your conversion chart out. Let's turn our attention now. We're going to turn our attention to college algebra here. And here we go. All right, thank you. All right, so on this one right here, I want you to change this to vertex form. Okay? And I want you to graph this. All right, so let's take a look. So on this right here, what you're going to do is first try to factor something out of these two. I'm going to move the 15 way over here just to get it out of the way. Well, I can't factor anything out of here other than a 1. So I'm going to take half of 8, which is 4, and 4 squared is 16. So I'm going to add 16 and both subtract 16. Add and subtract. So when I add 16, this right here, is going to become a perfect square trinomial. So that's going to be x minus 4 quantity squared. And then this right here, when I add those two up, I get a negative 1. And that should be it for the first one. Now keep in mind that if you factor a number out here, you have to multiply. Uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. This one right here is that type of problem. So here you're going to factor out a negative 2 out of those two. 
And so you're left with x squared minus 12, or 6 rather, right? 2 times 6. Okay, negative times a negative is a positive. Move the 21 over here. All right, so you're going to take half of 6, which is 3, and 3 squared is 9. So you're going to add 9 in here and subtract 9 in here. So what you have is a negative 2 times x squared minus 6, and that should be, let me think here, um, we technically should have taken out an x on this one. And I'm wondering if that is the original problem. Okay, because technically we could factor an x out there. All right, so we'll talk about that one in class. But for right now, go ahead and graph this one in graph number two on your graphing calculator. All right. Have a good morning, and uh, I'll see you in class. Oh, and by the way, the worksheet for today looks like this. And we'll talk about it in class.